Some of you may not know that I was clean shaven January 1st. And the reason I did this was because I wanted to have a proper year. I wanted to go through that process. So I was clean shaven January 1st and I did start, my beard was probably down to, I'd say right here. I was very skeptical. I didn't know whether or not I should I should do it or not, but I went ahead and I did it because again, I've never done a proper year. So here we are uh, with the year's progress. It's about, if you see my fingers, so from my chin, it's about a finger and a half length. When it comes to, to caring for your beard, in the beginning, I was just shampooing my face where the beard area was. It's March 16th, it was about two weeks ago where I started shampooing and conditioning my beard because I could actually feel the texture of it. And I could tell that it was, it was feeling a little coarse. So again, we are shampooing and conditioning the beard at this point. And in addition to that, I have been cleaning up the cheek lines as I let this beard grow out. Now with the beard, you can't touch the main portion of your beard because that wouldn't be a proper year. That wouldn't be letting your beard grow out for an entire year. Yeah, some people say you can't touch your cheek lines or underneath, but others do say that you can do that just so long that you aren't cutting anything that grows down. So again, I am cleaning up the cheek lines and then I am bringing down the, the neckline. And what I mean by that is in the beginning, when it was just scruff, I was making a clean line under about probably two fingers length above my Adam's apple. And as my beard is getting longer, I'm bringing this neckline down. So in about, I would say two weeks, I'm probably not even gonna have to touch my neckline because the beard is gonna be covering it. So I'd say probably two weeks to a month and I'll, I'll no longer have to trim under there. But for now I am. Now, in addition to that, I am noticing that I'll wake up and the beard is kind of messed up. So we're to the point to where now I do use oil and I do use balm in my beard, but for the first, I'd say for the first couple months, I didn't have to use oil or balm because the beard really, you couldn't tell when it was messed up, but now you definitely, you definitely can. So what I'll do after I wash and condition my beard, I'll come out, I'll put some beard oil in and then I'll go ahead, I'll brush the beard oil with this brush to evenly distribute it throughout my beard. The beard oil is in, this is a reenactment if you will. So beard oil is in and it already, even from me doing this, you can already tell that it does make a big difference. And there is oil and balm in here already, so that is making it really easy to control. That's why it's just taking a few brushes and it's good to go. And then, so that's the oil. Now, when it comes to my mustache, I am putting balm in my mustache, and that's to keep the little flyaways from going everywhere. What that balm does is, is it's thicker and it has beeswax in it, so it's more of a holding and a form factor to where it can give it that proper shape and you don't see like any stragglers going everywhere. So that's what the benefit of using the balm is. So let me fix this. Oh, we're good now. All right, so for those of you that are out there that are also growing a year, if you have any feedback or any questions or perhaps comments or insight for us to help us out, let us know in the comment section below. In regard to what I'm using as far as the beard oils, beard balms, brushes, shampoos, and washes, they are from the Beard Struggle. I'll have them linked below as well in addition to a discount code. And the discount code is it's up to 40% off, but no less than 20% off. So check that out if you are interested in any maybe new scents because there are a ton of new scents out right now. And there's actually, there's something else that's coming that's new that might just tickle your fancy. But I'll leave it at that for now. I can't do any spoilers. So yes, all in all, as always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And for those of you that aren't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, peace, we out.